it's kind of crazy that there are so many quarterbacks that are available right now. There, you better realize there is a ton of quarterback movement coming up in the next month and a half. And I am beyond excited for the NFL draft. The NFL draft is like my, the Super Bowl is great. I love the NFL playoffs. It's fun for me. My absolute favorite part of the year is the NFL draft. I, oh, like there's a ton of hope. People are excited. There's new quarterbacks to evaluate and talk about and make predictions and uh, people lose out. People get excited. Uh, the NFL draft is this amazing, amazing event. It's so much fun. And we're going to see at minimum five quarterbacks drafted in the first round of the NFL draft. That's awesome. We're going to see Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, and Mac Jones. Uh, we may see somebody else. We might see like a Kyle Trask at the end of the first round. I mean, Kyle Trask is interesting. I, I haven't done film study on any of these quarterbacks yet. Uh, not not to my standard. I, I watched them play a lot and I got a lot of notes, but I really want to dive in and rewatch every game and make a video and tell you what their film says and what I feel about their how they are. And uh, like guys like Trey Lance actually is interesting because he hasn't played much in the last year and a half. So some of his film, I think he's better than what you'll see because the film is so old. He's had so much time to prepare. It'll be fun. I really cannot wait to dive into the film. Uh, that'll be in April. Now, that's pretty wild. That's five quarterbacks minimum in the NFL draft alone. But then there's also, you got to ask yourself, like, well, actually, I guess another thing, is there going to be a surprise quarterback? Is there going to be a quarterback like a Tom Brady or Russell Wilson or Dak Prescott who falls in the draft? And ends up being a big surprise where we go, wow, I didn't expect that guy to do what he did. Like, did anybody expect Russell Wilson? I, I, I probably, I did. I believed in Russell Wilson. I thought a lot of the problems with him is height. Uh, but I didn't see Dak Prescott becoming what he became. Nobody saw Tom Brady. And so is there going to be a guy who is a surprise in the draft? That could be a sixth quarterback minimum in, in the draft that becomes a starting quarterback. Uh, then along with the draft, there's still a bunch of quarterbacks who could be moved, could be traded, could be, we don't know. Um, I am holding out hope. I, I really want a Deshaun Watson trade to happen. I uh, I got to say, I think Houston is playing with fire. Houston is very uh, nonchalantly acting like there's no problem. They're just they're, Houston's going to be like, oh, it's fine. We'll have a quarterback who hates us, who doesn't want to play for us. We're going to make, the, we're going to force him to play for us. I don't think that's a good policy for any quarterback. Um, Deshaun Watson doesn't want to be there. He might play for you. Uh, but look, even if Deshaun does play, if your quarterback hates you, doesn't want to be there, I don't think that's a good recipe for success at all. That's not good. The job of quarterback is too hard to have a guy who doesn't want to engage with you. Like Deshaun will probably be a professional. I, I, my guess is he'll, he'll like week 10. I, th I think it's like week 10. There's a deadline where. He's got to come back so he accrues a whole year. That way he doesn't waste a year where the Texans still have his rights uh, in time. So he's got to play a little bit. But he might wait till the very last minute and say, all right, I'm here, and I'll, I'll catch a snap and I'll take a knee, but I'm not, I'm not playing quarterback for you guys. Trade me. I think Deshaun is a stick in the mud, and he's not going to move. He's like, you can try. You can try, <laughs> you can try to make me play for you. I'm not going to play for you. So I, I want to stress something. Houston needs to understand the urgency of their situation. Their quarterback doesn't want them. They got to move the guy away. And Houston had better make a move before the NFL draft happens. Before teams pick their quarterbacks of the future. You wait. The Jets have the number two overall pick. The Jets are the ideal trade for Houston. Okay, we'll take your number two overall pick. We'll take your, uh, I think they have like the 21st overall pick. They got to pick later in the first round. So they got two first round picks. They got... Uh, we'll say, hey, give us another pick in the future. You can take a King's ransom for Deshaun Watson from the New York Jets. And the number two pick allows you to draft whatever quarterback you want that's not named Trevor Lawrence. You get another starter in the first round this year, probably another first round pick in the future. If Houston doesn't want like a ton of stuff, like, wouldn't you rather have a good quarterback you like who's cheap, who actually wants to be there? Instead of Deshaun Watson, who's expensive. I like Deshaun, but he hates you and doesn't want to be that guy. I don't, I don't understand why Houston isn't jumping at the idea of trading Deshaun Watson to the New York Jets, getting all their assets, and rebuilding the right way, and having a cheap rookie contract. I think that'd be great. 
But Houston is very stubborn. They're like, no, you will play for us. You signed a contract. And I, relationally, that doesn't work. But again, if you wait till after the draft, Houston is going to go, oh, well, every team has the quarterback they like. They, they were very intentional. They chose a quarterback in the draft they, they really fondly love. Um, and the only team left that doesn't have a quarterback is the like Chicago Bears. And the Chicago Bears, well, uh, they have no assets. <laughs> like the, the Bears, the, the advantage with trading now is if you trade away Deshaun Watson now, you will end up in a situation where you can replace him and get another quarterback. If you wait till after the draft, it's going to be a lot harder to make a trade where you get a quarterback in return or a asset that can become a quarterback in return for next year. You can wait and trade with Chicago. They'll give you a first round pick for two years from now or whatever, you know, next year. But then you go all of 2021 without a starting quarterback playing like what's, who's there? I don't even know. I have no idea who their backup quarterback is. I, I it doesn't matter. <laughs> like Chase Daniel or something. I, I, I don't know. Houston has got to make a move soon. I, I'm going on a long rant here, but they cannot wait too long to make a move. Now, another question is Miami. Are the Miami Dolphins committed to Tua Tungavaloa? Tua was very, uh, very, he was underwhelming his rookie year. Now that's in comparison to Justin Herbert, who was amazing, and Joe Burrow, who was amazing. Now, I don't know that that scale, I, I don't know, make what you want of that scale, but in comparison to Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert, Tua was very underwhelming. You're like, ah, Justin, amazing. Joe, great. Tua, kind of boring. Not that great. Not that impressive. And a lot of people doubt Tua. So I, I would ask, is Tua available? Now, again, I want to make a statement. People doubt Tua a ton. He's out there working right now to prove all those people wrong. I would love it if Tua came back strong, had a great year, said, this is why I was drafted where I was drafted. I deserve more respect. I love that. But still, I, I wonder, will a trade for Tua happen? It doesn't matter how Tua feels and the work Tua's doing. If Miami doesn't like him and doesn't trust him, it's not going to work. And Miami has the number three overall pick. There will never, ever be a better time to draft another quarterback to replace Tua than right now. If you're going to make that move and replace Tua, do it now while you can get Zach Wilson or Justin Fields. Make that move as soon as possible. Personally, I love Tua. I'm rooting for him. Uh, will he succeed? I don't know. It could go either way. Uh, we'll do a film analysis, but his film is very like, I mean, Peyton Manning was bad his first year and got better his second year, and it, it's just too early to judge Tua, but I the question is not up to me. It's will Miami trade him or not? I don't know. So I think Deshaun Watson better be on the table. Tua is on the table if anybody wants him. Sam Darnold might be available. Uh, the Jets have the number two overall pick. We all assume they're going to draft a quarterback, uh, Justin Fields or probably Zach Wilson. Uh, I feel bad for Sam, though. I think Sam... Never really got the support he deserved or needed in New York. Had a bad head coach. Um, it's so embarrassing to look back at. When 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 Adam Gase went to New York, I went, oh, it's going to work. I, I was an idiot who believed in Adam Gase because I went, well, Miami didn't work. Was it the quarterback or the coach? And I said it was Ryan Tannehill's fault. Pretty clearly, it was the coach's fault, not Ryan Tannehill. So Sam Darnold had no weapons, uh, a horrible coach, never really got any support. And now they're going to probably bail on him. So... We believe uh, Sam Darnold might be available because the Jets are probably going to draft their own quarterback, new coach, uh, new regime, an unimpressive quarterback previously. Will the Jaguars trade Gardner Minshew? I don't think they will because he's cheap. And uh, in case so you're going to draft Trevor Lawrence, number one overall, if he's not ready to be your starting quarterback week one, put Gardner out there. Gardner can take some hits and do his thing. Uh, you got to put somebody out there. And uh, unless the Jaguars get a really good offer, because Gardner's cheap and people like him, why not keep him? I, I don't. There's no reason for the Jaguars to want to trade Gardner Minshew unless you make a move that they can't refuse. So uh, I would find it unlikely Gardner Minshew is traded from Jacksonville. Uh, and then I guess there's Russell Wilson. People keep saying that Russell Wilson is available. I don't. Uh, it seems like a bunch of nonsense to me. Um, like like the Chicago Bears. Like everyone's like, the, the Bears are going to trade for Russell Wilson with what? What can Chicago give Seattle that helps Seattle replace Russell Wilson? Nothing. I, they don't. They don't have any. The, I just. I don't understand. The 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 Bears have the twentieth overall pick. <laughs> like, <laughs> how valuable is that? 
Can you get a starting quarterback with the 20th overall pick? Oh, oh, you you can't. Maybe you can trade two firsts. I, I, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't get it. I guess maybe Seattle could trade Russell Wilson to Chicago, get the 20th overall pick, then trade. Oh, oh, wait, but they don't. Oh, Seattle doesn't have a first round pick this year because they traded it for Jamal Adams. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I don't I don't see how Seattle gets a quarterback if they trade with Chicago. So we have the Jaguars, the Jets, they're number one and two. Uh, these are teams, so I think there are about nine teams that I count that need a quarterback. Jaguars, Jets, the one and two overall pick. Uh, no matter what happens in the next month and a half, the Jaguars and the Jets are going to walk away with new quarterbacks going into next year. That, it just it, That's a fact. Miami and Houston, they both might trade their quarterbacks to uh, Deshaun Watson. Uh, the Denver Broncos have the number nine overall pick. They are very unhappy with their young quarterback, Drew Locke. It was a really shameful report that came out saying that Denver had to dumb down their offense to help Drew out last year. So Drew Locke is holding back Denver. I I keep wanting it to be a thing. At last year, I, was, I, I was holding out hope last year, like, oh, maybe it'll get better. And I was being patient and trying to be fair. And I give him one more year, but I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen in, in Denver. And I don't blame them at all. And so they're a good team. They need to get the quarterback right. Because if Denver has a good quarterback, their roster is incredible. They can win, but not with Drew Locke, most likely. So Denver is probably going to try to trade up, draft a quarterback. Um, you have the Lions have the number seven overall pick. They traded for Jared Goff. But they also went to Trey Lance's pro day. So because Jared Goff is mediocre, because they're looking at rookie at, at quarterbacks coming into the NFL draft, Maybe Detroit is going to draft a quarterback at seven overall. Number eight overall, the Carolina Panthers have the number eight pick. Uh, they have a solid quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater. He is solid. He's not your long-term plan. It's possible a quarterback falls to them at number eight. If I was Detroit and I knew who was in front of me, and there's a couple teams that don't need quarterbacks who could trade down, if I am Detroit, if I am the Carolina Panthers, I'm number eight overall in the draft. I'm not risking it. I'm trading up to get a quarterback. I am not going to roll the dice and hope a guy lands to me. Because not only do you have to get one of those top five quarterbacks to come all the way down to eight, but you also would probably have a guy you'll want most. Like, what if you really love Zach Wilson, but you're like, ah, Trey Lance and Mac Jones don't interest me. You got to go get Zach Wilson. You're close enough, but you got to finish the job and go get that guy. So um, not only does Carolina need a quarterback, I think they should make a move from eight to like four or something to go get the guy they actually want. Uh, don't be stagnant. Don't wait because people who wait often have things taken from them. Maybe Philadelphia number six overall wants a quarterback. This is very unlikely. Uh, the owner came out and said, you know, Jalen Hurts is our quarterback. But a little paranoid uh, light bulb in my head went off and said, hmm, they probably are committed to J uh, Jalen Hurts. But what if Jalen Hurts isn't the guy that Philadelphia wants? What if the reason why they put that out there, because that was leaked for some reason. Maybe it was a signal saying, hey, uh, we're willing to trade down. But it could have also been a smokescreen telling other teams, oh, you, you're safe. You're good. Oh, no, you don't need to move up in the draft. We're, we're not going to draft. We're going to draft Kyle Pitts a tight end. Don't worry. You don't need to. We're not going to draft a quarterback. Make the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos feel safe. Woo them into a false sense of security. And then, bam, go get a quarterback. <laughs> like, oh, you thought we were, you thought we met that? No, no, we, we just drafted Trey Lance. We like him. That's very possible that it's just a lie. So very unlikely, but maybe Philadelphia drafts a quarterback at number six overall. Uh, the Patriots, the Bears, and the 49ers, they all need quarterbacks. Uh, either they need to move up in the draft or they got to trade for Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson. The 49ers have the number 12 overall pick. Uh, they also have Jimmy Garoppolo. But Jimmy Garoppolo, if you watch film recently, has been very, very disappointing. So I would not put a lot of stock into believing in Jimmy, in Jimmy Garoppolo. The 49ers, in my opinion, if they want to win a Super Bowl, which I think they have the, the talent on their roster to make that happen, they're going to need a better quarterback who can elevate them. Like I, I, would give, I would pay so much money to watch Zach Wilson play quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. It's not going to happen. But man, I, I would, I, w I wish that was a possibility. If it was Madden, I'm like, I'm trading all my best players to make that happen. It's not Madden. You can't do that. But uh, the Patriots gave Cam Newton a one year deal, bunch of incentives. Um, and it's kind of weird because maybe they did it to have Cam Newton mentor 
a rookie quarterback? I I don't really get what the Patriots are doing because Cam's not their guy long term. They would have given him a longer contract if he was. Uh, the Patriots need a long term quarterback. I don't. I, I, I to this day don't know what the Patriots are doing. That number fifteenth overall pick. Um, I don't know that that's that valuable to trade up. So we'll see what the Patriots do. They're in the quarterback market. I just don't know what quarterback they're going to get, if any, because they seem like they're not in a position really to make a good move for a quarterback. Maybe Jimmy Garoppolo. That, that's the the only person I could see making a trade for Jimmy Garoppolo is Bill Belichick and the Patriots, based on their history working with him before. And um, I, maybe that happens, question mark? But that's also one of the only quarterbacks I can see the Patriots actually getting to, because... The 15th overall pick, you got to bundle it with a lot to trade up in the draft with like maybe the Falcons or something. And I don't know what they're going to trade for Deshaun Watson or Russell Wilson. I don't see that happening either. So uh, I don't know who the Patriots are going to get. And the team that's most unlikely to get a quarterback is the Chicago Bears. The Bears have no quarterback. Uh, There's not a lot of stuff they can trade for one either, though. I just don't get it. Uh, Seattle and Houston would not benefit from a trade with Chicago because Chicago has... Uh, the 20th overall pick. So the, it's a draft pick that you can't use to get a quarterback. Uh, it's also, I mean, uh, the Bears, they just can't help you. If you're going to trade away Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson, you're going to make a trade that's going to allow you to eventually get another quarterback. The Bears have nothing of value that can help you replace a quarterback before next year. So I don't I don't get it. Later first round pick, not much to offer in a trade. The Bears, I, I, I have no idea how the Bears are going to get a quarterback. I, I just don't see it. I, I I know they're banking on trading for Russell Wilson. I don't think that's realistic. So I'm very deeply concerned about the Chicago Bears ending up with a quarterback and probably ending up without a quarterback for next year and playing like Nick Foles. Oh, and the last one. Um, <laughs> that's going to make people very mad. I don't care. The Pittsburgh Steelers need a quarterback. Badly. Uh, I, they're in denial. The The entire city of Pittsburgh is in denial. They're so excited about the Big Ben goodbye tour. He's saying goodbye for a reason. He got a one-year deal for a reason. Uh, Pittsburgh needs a new quarterback. They need a long-term plan for whenever Big Ben decides to... uh, Next year. For when Big Ben leaves after next year. It's a goodbye tour. The Steelers should trade for uh, Gardner Minshew or Sam Darnold, but they won't. Because, again, they'd appear to have no interest in making moves that can help their franchise moving forward after Big Ben. They're like, oh, it's we'll figure that out someday. It's like, oh, your house is on fire. Uh, I don't think that's something you can put off. you, you got to put off the fire. But Pittsburgh has no interest in replacing Big Ben, Big ben anytime soon. Uh, it's weird. I don't get it. Uh, and I, if you have a problem, you solve it. If your house is on fire, you put out the fire. If your car is breaking down, you fix what needs to be fixed so you can keep driving. We can all see... It's kind of like this. Here's here's exactly what it is. The Steelers are driving towards a cliff. They know they need to stop their car or they're going to go over the cliff. And instead of stopping the car, they went, ah, let's just put a flip-flop down or put put on cruise control. They put it on cruise control. They're like, it's fine. Stay the same speed. Nothing's going to change. We know we're going to go off the cliff, but it's fine. It's fine. It's like the meme of the guy sitting in a house on fire, like going, it's fine. I don't mind that my house is burning down. It's fine. That's the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're in denial. I don't get it. They need a a new quarterback for a long-term plan. Sam Darnold, Gardner Minshew are great ideas. Uh, I'm not a believer in uh, Dwayne Haskins working out. The guy that's immature as a quarterback in 2021, you have an immature quarterback. That that doesn't work. I've seen that that fail too many times. Uh, I've talked to Ryan Leaf. Immature quarterbacks don't work in the NFL. And so I, Pittsburgh has immature Dwayne Haskins, aging Big Ben, and they think everything's fine, and it's not fine. They need a long-term plan. So either way, next month, uh, the next month and a half is going to be incredible. So many teams need quarterbacks. Uh, They better figure something out. There's a lot of quarterbacks available. Trades, quarterbacks in the draft. It's going to be amazing. Uh, And and really, I think what I'm most curious about, when the dust settles in a month and a half, end of April, draft is over, Trades have been made. Which team still will not have a quarterback? My money's on Chicago, but I'm curious which team is not going to have a starting quarterback for 2021 at the end of April. We will find out. It's going to be very fun. And uh, gosh, I am so excited for the NFL draft. It's going to be amazing.